Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Dolly 3 to generate unlimited print-on-demand designs such as these in a matter of a few short minutes. Everything from a hyper-realistic raging dragon to Frosty the Snowman saying Merry Christmas, and one of my personal favorites, a bald eagle double exposure art with mountains in its wings. But you're also probably familiar that coming up with prompts that make images like this can be pretty challenging, and it takes a lot of time. So I'm excited to show you a way that we can shortcut all of that and generate an unlimited flow of designs such as these, that basically the only limit is the number that you want to make. All right, and the way we're going to do this is by starting off with the prompt of an image that we liked. So in this case, I liked the image of the bald eagle with the double exposure art. So step one is we're going to upload an image of a design that we like into ChatGPT. So say that I like this double exposure art of this bald eagle, which I think is really cool. I'm just going to tell ChatGPT to come up with a prompt to make an image like this. And it's going to come back with something normally pretty descriptive in order to generate something that's exactly like that. And then I'm going to pass that prompt back to ChatGPT to make sure that we're on the right path and that it is something similar. Then step two is I'm going to ask it to turn this prompt into a formula with variables so it can be reused in the future for a variety of different subjects and themes. And then I just simply repaste the prompt. And now what it's done is it's turned that prompt into a formula with lots of different variables. You can see like animal, the action it's doing, the landscape type, the key features, descriptive features, relevant body parts, description of an action, elements of landscape, opposing elements, color scheme, art style, art period, style reference like a million different variables and while this is really cool alone something to note is that it's turned it into a formula that is still narrowed to an animal with a landscape so if that's what we're going for and i just want to mix and match with that then that's fine but if i want this to be like a broad catch-all type prompt that could do literally anything i would ask it to replace animal and landscape as variables as well so it can be any kind of subject but just for the sake of this example i'll leave it as is but just know that you can ask it to turn those into variables too and it's definitely able to do that now for the exciting part is we are going to ask it to generate new prompts as many as we want using this formula And there's two different ways we do that. One, if I already have my own print-on-demand brand, like I'm using VK Threads as the example, I can just ask it to generate designs for VK Threads and give it a short description of my brand. Or if I have no idea, I could ask it to just come up with designs that it think will look cool using this style. I'm gonna do the latter. I'm going to ask it to please use this formula to come up with 20 more prompts for graphic t-shirt designs using any theme or subject you think will look good. And we always want to be polite to our AI overlords and say thank you. And now it's generated 20 different prompts for us. So one, for example, is generate an artistic illustration that combines a silhouette of a fierce wolf howling with the dense forest. The wolf's fur should transition into trees and underbrush detailed with shadowy textures. And then another one that I like is number 19, craft an illustration of an astronaut in space, the suit and helmet transitioning into a starry galaxy. Cosmos should be detailed with the nebula and constellations. And here's what number 19 looks like. It's pretty freaking awesome. And then here's what number one looks like. So you can see it followed very closely our original theme of the eagle double exposure nature art, followed that almost to a T with the wolf. And then the really cool thing is that it didn't just limit itself to the exact same style, it swapped out like different art styles and colors and stuff. So here's another one that it made of this soaring phoenix. Now, obviously, is a pretty cool design, but I want to show this one because obviously this isn't usable for a print-on-demand product. And this kind of thing will happen a lot, but it's pretty easy to fix if you know what to do. So the reason that it didn't do this the way we wanted is that it doesn't specifically call out in the prompts that it needs to be a graphic illustration or a piece of graphic artwork that is isolated and centered on clear background. 
It's pretty easy to fix that. All that we're going to do is take this prompt from up here, copy the code, and don't worry about it being in this code format. It doesn't really matter. We just paste that down here. We say, use this prompt formula to make graphic t-shirt design. Make sure all designs are centered and isolated on a pristine white or black background. This last sentence is the operative piece I found after testing this a lot that it just needs to be told to center it and isolate the design because centering it makes sure that the subject is in the dead center so it doesn't get cut off by the edges and then isolated on a pristine white or black background make sure that there's like negative space around it so that it's easy to remove the background. Make 20 graphic t-shirt designs. Then we hit generate and see what it comes up with. Here we can see 20 different prompts that it came up with and then I asked the generate a couple of them they're not too bad but this one's pretty cool it's a little too many details earlier when i did this it came up with this one off of the same base prompt formula this sea turtle with an ocean mixed into its shell and then it came up with this crab that was mixed in with like sand dunes around it as well this is just one example of we started off with a base prompt from an image that we liked and we started off with double exposure animal artwork, but you could start with literally anything, any type of design that you really like. And to repeat the steps, you ask it to generate a prompt that can create a similar image. Then you ask it to turn that prompt into a formula and replace the subject and the descriptors with variables. Then you ask it to use that formula that it just made to generate as many prompts as you want and then pick and choose out which ones you think will make the best images. Or you can do what I did and ask it to generate its favorite designs. Now, obviously you can generate a ton of designs with this, but it just takes a lot of time to copy and paste it because you can only go at the speed that ChatGPT allows, which is why we're creating a software that's going to speed up this process by about a hundred times. So that basically you just enter your brand name and then it generates all of the designs you could ever possibly need for extremely cheap. So if that's something you're interested in, then click the link in the description down below to be the, one of the first ones notified once we launch. But if you just want to keep paying for chat GPT, that's totally fine as well. You can clearly get a lot of great designs. It just takes longer. And let me know down in the comment section down below, what are you guys coming up with? What are some of your favorite prompts? And more importantly, what kind of questions do you have? And what do you want me to show in my next videos? Best of luck to you guys. I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.